90 Days, 90 Reasons, Reason Number 31, by Ishmael Reed, whose latest book, Going Too Far, Essays About America's Nervous Breakdown, was published by Baraka Books. Photo in, um, if you go to the website, 90days90reasons.com, you will see his picture, and that is called uh, by credit of Tennessee Reed. Reason number 31, because the Republican Party is pre-Galilean. Huh, I couldn't have said it better myself. We have to re-elect President, President Barack Obama because the country can't be turned over to people who are anti-science, anti-intellectual, and who deny facts and evidence. Though flawed severely, Thomas Jefferson represents one tradition, and another European founding father, Cotton Mather, represents another. President Obama continues to embrace the Enlightenment championed by Jefferson, while the Republican Party includes the Matherites, people who play to fear and stigmatize the difference. In Mather's day, it was women and Native Americans. Today, it's Muslims, Mexicans, and the oldie but goodies, blacks. The reason that the Republican Party is bereft of ideas is because millions of whites have permitted them to coast along by using appeals of race. The Southern strategy, which begun, as I point out in my July Playboy article, with President Eisenhower, not Nixon. The Southern strategy is being used against the president and some of the ads opposing him, which show the vulnerability of whites under black rule and which Willie Horton, the welfare issue, came as no surprise since Larry McCarthy, the original of the Willie, Will, originator of the Willie Horton ad, works for a Romney super PAC. Willie Horton was part of an elderly black boogeyman project that was meant to scare whites into the image of the black rapist who might go from door to door as one ad warned. This ad helped elect Judge George Bush Sr. President Obama has faced opposition from the racist diehards and the Holocaust deniers who fill the ranks of the Tea Party, a media creation formed by Roger Eilis and Rupert Murdoch, whose New York Post edit depicted the president as a murdered chip and who fired Suzanne Gu Guzman when she protested. Fox News is not the only network which is working full-time to, to defeat the president, but CNN actually made an alliance with Tea Party Express, which is headed by a man who believes that the president is a Muslim. CNN? Huh, I'm not watching them anymore. The president has deflected this ugly opposition. The bio posters are men showing up at rallies. His being associated with food stamps, his wife and daughter described as prostitutes, a federal judge joking about his mother having sex with a dog with an admirable, cool, even self-depreciating manner. When the Republican Party thought it was funny to use valuable convention time to show an actor talking to a chair, a scene that was sad, insulting the presidential office and even a little depraved, the president said that he admired the actor. His black critics, who have zero support among blacks but get a lot of time on cable, demanded him the impossible of a president who can't act like Eldridge Cleaver and be president of the United States. He's more like Jackie Robinson and Booker T. Washington than Malcolm X. He's a pragmatist who looks to the future while the Republican Party is tied to an America that never was. This, Their critics accuse them of wanting to return the party to the 1950s. This is an insult to the 1950s when New, when New York became the arts capital of the world, where experiments taking place in Thelonious Monk's house became a new jazz and golden age of American writing, and a golden age of American writing occurred as a result of enlightened WPA program that subsidized literature and theater only to be ended by the same Republican obstinacy that the president confronts now. As president, Romney wants to end the National Endowment for the Arts. Revealing. I'd say that today's Republican Party is pre-Galilean. It is offering a presidential candidate, Mitt Romney, who joked about global warming three days after a report which was released saying ice now covers less than 30% of the Arctic Ocean's sur surface. Like the Confederate antecedents, they believe that a woman's reproductive equipment is their personal property. Like the real founding father, C Cotton Mather, they see threats everywhere and promise more wars that rich men will again be able to avoid. Even if they went by voter caging and outspending the president, they are wedded like the old South to a lost cause while the president wins, even if he loses. He better not. Jesus. Ishmael Reed, Oakland, California.